right, head coach Eric Knoll, can you give us an opening statement about how today went and how the series feels? Right, you know, it's uh, it's nice to get a series win. You know, dropped game one and come back to win game two and game three. Uh, shows a lot of resiliency, shows a lot of grit, a lot of determination. Um, and you also have the ability to kind of wash things. And uh, I give a lot of credit to the seniors on that. Um, you know, not that underclassmen can't do that, but the seniors, uh, they've just been around the block and uh, they've been a part of a lot of conference series over the years and um, just to have that thick skinness. Um, but yeah, a great Sunday for us. Uh, got the series victory against the tough ULM team. They were really hot coming into this game. Uh, had a win streak, I believe, coming into this game. And uh, to put an end to that win streak and win a couple games Saturday and Sunday, um, very, very proud of our girls. There were a lot of bright spots today. One of them being Libby Baker. A complete game, three hits, well, three runs. Can you give us a little bit about that? Yeah, Libby's our ace, and she pitched really well, you know, and uh, people call her a dual threat. Um, I believe she was on base two or three times as well, and it looked like they were trying to pitch around her, and she'd get hits or walks, and, and then, as you alluded to, she pitched very, very well. Uh, ran into a little trouble there kind of at the end, uh, but I just really felt like she was going to grit it out, and she certainly did. Uh, so she's in a good place right now. I uh, really think the 12-inning the Texas State game really – boosted her confidence. She complimented our defense, and we did make some fine defensive plays. Even in that game, Ansley Finch, uh, they were kind of threatening there. ULM was threatening and had a lot of base runners scoring some runs and made a great catch for her pitcher, Libby Baker. So uh, as, I, as I've already said, just very, very proud of our girls. Early in the game, there was a free run home. I saw you light up, the dugout was on the field by the time she was grounded her base. Can you talk to us a little bit about that moment? Sure, you know, that's an exciting moment um, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, a, in the game, it came at a very important time. We were down a run, I believe, so that made the game three to one. Uh, that's a freshman, and maybe the biggest thing is that's her first collegiate home run, uh, and a young lady that uh, found herself kind of behind Taylor McKinney, and, but just kind of kept grinding, kept practicing, kept working. Uh, so a lot of satisfactory moments culminating in one particular moment right there. So you saw me light up, you saw Jill light up, you saw our dugout light up because as a unit we couldn't be more happy for uh, Jillian Williams. Speaking of a unit, you guys were a unit, ULM is also a unit. Can you talk about the cohesiveness of the team that you saw during this series? Sure, I mean, and that's, that's Troy Softball. Uh, Troy Softball is you play for your teammates. Uh, you don't necessarily play for the name on your back, you play for your teammates. And, and they really look out for one another and they pull for one another. And um, that is a quality that um, should be admirable by all um, and something that we definitely want to keep strong here at Troy. ULM's the same way. And although they came out on the short end this weekend, you can tell that's a tight knit group. Uh, they play for one another and that coaching staff does a really nice job. Friday, you guys move on to Statesboro and take on the Georgia Southern. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Too? Right, you know, Georgia Southern is another quality opponent. They're all quality opponents in the Sun Belt. I know that they uh, took down South Alabama just yesterday, uh, and South is one of the top three or four teams in the league. So um, that's, that's a series that certainly we want to go into with uh, a lot of confidence, um, but, but with any series in the Sun Belt, You've got to be humble, you got to be hungry, and you got to know that anyone in the Sun Belt can beat you. So, um, you know, we'll be prepared for Georgia Southern, um, and we'll know that we're going to be in for a dogfight, but certainly uh, we need to play good softball when we go, uh, I guess, out east. Mm -hmm. uh, he stole all my questions. Anything else you'd like to say, Coach? Appreciate you guys being here, appreciate you guys covering us, and go Trojans. Thank you.